Virtualization is basically the process of transforming a single computer to host multiple virtual machines. The term has existed since the 1960s, but only with the rise of the internet and cloud computing has virtualization truly found its place. To grasp the concept and need for virtualization, we should first rehash what makes a computer a computer. As you may already know, a computer can be divided into two layers. The hardware layer consists of components including the processing unit, the memory, the storage, and the network interface. And the software layer consists of the operating system, aka the supervisor, on which the applications will run. Together, these two layers make up a single computing unit. But with virtualization, the concept of a basic computer is turned on its head. Instead of just having the operating system running directly on the hardware, virtualization goes ahead and inserts a management software known as a hypervisor. Through the hypervisor, multiple virtual machines or VMs can now be spun up, each assigned to a portion of the overall computer resources. There are mainly two types of virtualization. Type 1, also referred to as bare metal virtualization, has the hypervisor running directly on top of the hardware. This type of virtualization is the most common and the most efficient because almost all of the resources are left for the VMs. You will find Type 1 virtualization running in most large cloud environments. Type 2, sometimes referred to as software virtualization, runs a control program not on the bare metal but on a pre-existing operating system. This type of virtualization is not as prevalent as the first and is also not as efficient because the computer resources now have to be shared between the parent OS and the virtual machines. So why do we even virtualize? Well, virtualization does have its benefits. For example, having the option to deploy multiple VMs on the same hardware minimizes footprint and reduces cost. And you can now run multiple servers, each within their own virtualized environments, all on the same machine. And seeing that virtual machines are now no different than files on a computer, backups and migration can now be done with just a few clicks of the mouse. So that was a general breakdown of virtualization. Do you have a question or something you would like to add? Leave a comment. And please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.